Linux Mint LMDE, the true Debian for everyone. Is there a Debian that finally feels friendly enough for everyone? Today we're testing Linux Mint Debian Edition, LMDE, the mint you know built on Debian's rock-solid base. Can it bridge the gap between Debian's stability and Mint's legendary ease of use? Let's find out. Short version. LMDE aims to give you Debian stability while keeping the Mint desktop tools and polish. It ships with the Cinnamon desktop and Mint's familiar management tools, but under the hood it tracks Debian instead of Ubuntu. That choice changes things in subtle but important ways. What LMDE actually is. LMDE stands for Linux Mint Debian Edition. The current major release, LMDE 6 FE, is built on Debian stable packages and is maintained by the Linux Mint team to offer the same look and workflow as mainstream Mint, but without Ubuntu as a middle layer. That means the core system, repositories, and update cadence are Debian-based, while the Cinnamon desktop and Mint utilities remain the team's work. Installation and first impressions. Out of the box, you get a straightforward installer and a familiar Cinnamon desktop. In my tests, and in community reports, the install is clean and turnkey. Flat packs and the software manager are available, and you get Mint's update manager. So the first run experience feels like Mint, not bare Debian. That's a big win for users who like the Mint workflow but prefer Debian's base. What's different from the Ubuntu-based Mint? Important differences. LMDE keeps Debian's package base and policies, so you should not use Ubuntu PPAs on LMDE. Hardware and driver management also looks different. Some of the automated driver tooling present in Ubuntu-based Mint editions isn't the same in LMDE. In short, software compatibility and third-party packaging behave more Debian-like than Ubuntu-like, and that's both a strength and a constraint depending on your needs. Stability, kernels, and updates. Because LMDE tracks Debian stable, the distribution prioritizes predictability. Kernel series and major system libraries remain conservative for the release lifetime. That means you get fewer disruptive changes, but also fewer rolling hardware updates, which matters if you rely on the very newest drivers. The upside is fewer surprises and a long-lived, reliable desktop for day-to-day -day work. User tools and usability. LMDE includes Mint's most loved usability tools. The software manager, update manager, welcome app, and Cinnamon's settings and applets. These tools are the real selling point. They make Debian approachable for newcomers while leaving advanced users free to use Debian's tools when they want. For most desktop users, this combination eliminates the most intimidating parts of working with Debian. Who should use LMDE? LMDE is best for three groups. One, Mint fans who want to switch away from Ubuntu's ecosystem but keep the Mint desktop. Two, users who value Debian stability but dislike the stock Debian desktop setup. And three, people who want a dependable daily driver that's easy to maintain. If you need bleeding edge hardware support or depend on many Ubuntu specific PPAs, LMDE might introduce friction. Pros and cons. Pros, rock solid Debian base, Mint's simple and polished desktop, strong tools for updates and software, and a generally snappier feel on older hardware. Cons. Fewer Ubuntu conveniences. No Ubuntu PPAs, less automated driver tooling. Conservative kernel and package updates, and some compatibility work if you migrate from Ubuntu-based Mint. Final verdict. Is LMDE the Debian for everyone? Not literally, no distro is perfect for everyone. But LMDE is one of the best attempts I've seen to make Debian genuinely approachable. For many users, it's the sweet spot. Debian reliability with Mint usability. If you're curious about Debian but hesitant to learn its raw edges, LMDE deserves a test drive. Try LMDE in a VM or on a spare USB. If it clicks, consider a full install. Drop your experiences in the comments, what worked, what didn't, and I'll answer the best questions in the next video. If you want, I can make a how-to guide showing a clean LMDE install and tips for migrating from the Ubuntu-based Mint. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for daily videos. Bye.